Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to my Donkey Kong Country Cheats bonus video. Today we are going to be looking at a whole bunch of cheats that you can do with this game that will do a whole bunch of things like add extra lives, and a whole bunch of other crazy shenanigans. And uh, three of them, the first three that we were actually going to look at, all involve the file select screen here. Just like in Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 where there were some interesting cheats that you could do on the select the game screen, uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 is no different, although it is kind of scary because we need to go down here and deal with the erase game option. Don't worry, I didn't accidentally erase the third file. There is a reason that that is like that, um, but it does always kind of scare me. Because in order to enter cheats, you have to press the B button so that the erase game text starts flashing. Uh, and now what you have to do is you have to enter a button combination, uh, and then if, uh, if you enter it correctly, you should hear the like kind of uh, the bonus game revealing sound. Uh, all of the cheats kind of spell something. The first one that we're going to do is Darby Day. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, and wow, even when the text is flashing, it will literally boot you back to that screen. That's crazy. That's totally crazy. What if I was just about to, you know, decisively erase the game and then it just took me back to Cranky's crazy face. Okay, so anyway, make erase game start flashing and to enter Darby Day, uh, you're going to press down, A, R, B, Y, down, A, Y. Uh, so basically, anytime there's a cheat code, uh, D represents down, although L and R represent the actual L and R buttons on the controller. So what that one just did is we can now press select and it kind of activates a sound test mode where we can cycle through all of the different music in the game. Unfortunately, it's really inefficient because it doesn't, you know, bring up a menu and you can just choose whichever one you want. You literally have to keep pressing the select button in order to keep changing to different songs and it totally takes forever. But I mean, back in the day, you know, before people could just go on YouTube and listen to any song anytime they wanted, well, if you wanted to jam out to your favorite Donkey Kong Country tunes, I guess this was, you know, the, what you had to deal with. Unfortunately, it's not, you know, the, the best sense, the best sound test mode ever. But it is an interesting cheat, uh, so I'm happy that I showed it off to all you. And uh, now you can go, you know, show it off to all your friends as well. Next cheat that you're going to enter is Barrel. So make the uh, text start flashing again and press B-A-R-R-A-L. Did that one work or do we need to reset before we can do it? What this cheat does is it should give you 50 lives. Let's see if it worked. Totally didn't work. We're going to reset and do that one again. Alright, so let's try this again. Make it flash and then go B-A-R-R-A-L. So that worked that time. I think that maybe you can enter Barrel before you enter Darby Day, but you can't enter Darby Day and then enter Barrel. But the reason I want to show off Sound Test first is because Barrel can only be shown off, if, we can only show off its effect if we then start a file and enter a level. And what that does is it will give you 50 lives. So I did do a bonus video previously where I showed an interesting trick uh, where you could get as many lives as you wanted, but if you don't feel like going through all that and you think that 50 is enough, uh, you can just do the Barrel Cheat and then uh, you know, enter any of your files, and you will have 50 lives right off of the bat, which is a pretty useful secret, especially if you know, you're know you taking on Gorilla Glacier or something like that. Of course, as a kid, there was no way that I ever could have possibly known about that. Um, but yeah, if, if you know, you're playing today and you think some extra lives would help, that is the cheat for you. Now, there's one more cheat that we need to show on the file select screen, but uh, Donkey Kong Country games, they don't actually feature like a way to go back to the title screen. In order to, you know, get to the file, uh, in order to change files, you literally have to get out of your seat and press the reset button. What do they think I have? I don't, like, you know, what kind of person do they take me for? Getting out of my chair to press buttons. Alright, so the final one that we're going to look at is the bad buddy code. So let's uh, make it flash and let's do B, A, down, B, up, down, down, Y. Now what that does is if we start a new, uh, you don't have to start a new game rather, but if you uh, either start a new game and do two player team or you already have a file that has started playing two player team, uh, you can, uh, and you go into that, the way two player team works, we haven't really spent much time talking about the multiplayer modes in Donkey Kong Country, which is kind of a shame, because they're actually pretty cool. What two player team does is player one plays as DK, and player two plays as Diddy. So if you get hit as DK, uh, that means that player two would take over. And uh, if Diddy is playing and they get hit, that means that uh, Donkey Kong will switch back to Donkey Kong and then player one will take over. Uh, also, like, if you uh, if you don't want to wait until you get hit to switch control, since I'm playing as Donkey Kong right now, I can press select to switch control over to my friend who's playing as Diddy. And if they don't want to play right now, they can press select to switch it back to me. 
But what the Bad Buddy Code allows you to do is, you know, say it's Donkey Kong's turn right now. It wouldn't be very fair if Diddy could just say, you know, okay, fine, it's my, I, I want to play now. And then they, you know, and then they press select and it switch to them. But what the Bad Buddy Code does is it actually allows them to do that. So despite the fact that I'm playing as DK right now, Diddy can press select at any time and force control over to their side. But on the flip side, I can then do that again as DK, so it can kind of just turn into a non-stop battle of, you know, pressing select until one person gets tired, and then that person gets to take control. So that's a rather interesting code there. Because otherwise, whoever uh, isn't currently, uh, currently active, they wouldn't be able to press the select button to switch control. But with the bad buddy code, uh, you can actually do that, which is pretty cool. But like I said, it just kind of turns into an all-out war on who gets to take control. Overall, I think that two-player in Donkey Kong is really neat, just the way that um, you know, you can kind of both play at the same time almost cooperatively. Not many platforming games had something like that, uh, like that back in the day. Like you had games like Mario 3 where one person died and then the other person would play, but to actually be able to kind of cooperate in a level together, I think that's really neat. Um, so those are the three cheat codes that you can enter on the file select screen. However, uh, we're actually not done looking at cheat codes quite yet, uh, but again, I need to get up and reset this thing. This isn't an old TV with a dial, there should be a remote for this. This is 2016, darn it! Alright, so the next code that we're going to look at is called the Diddy Code. So you press down Y, down, down Y, while Cranky is on the screen, uh, on the title screen there. And what happens is, you get teleported to a room with three of each kind of animal token, so that you can try and play any of them that you want. And since we haven't shown Winky's bonus game, this is the moment I've been waiting to show it off for, because I knew we'd have to show one of them off anyway. So it's finally Winky's turn, and his is probably one of the easier ones to actually get um, tokens in. Kind of interesting. I, I always His was always probably my favorite as a kid. So yeah, if you press... Uh, D, Y, D, D, Y. People call it Diddy, because, I mean, obviously there's no I button on the Super Nintendo controller, so that's what they were trying to spell. Uh, but if you press that combination, well, Cranky is on the screen there, uh, it will teleport you to that room. However, uh, it's, it's not initially obvious, but this does have an actually very interesting side effect as well that we're not going to be able to show off at the moment, but I will finish showing off uh, Winky's room here before going into explaining how all of that works. Interestingly, I think that the timer is going down slower in Winky's room than it does in some of the other Animal of Buddy's rooms. Is there a difference? I think we'll actually find that out uh, momentarily. So yeah, it pretty much allows you to play any of the Animal Buddy's bonus games as much as you want. The unfortunate thing though is that we are now stuck in here forever. Pressing start and select doesn't do anything unless... Unless, and you will see in just a second. Although, unfortunately, I need to reset once again to get out of this room. So we're going to do that right now. Alright, so say that getting an extra 50 lives right off the bat just doesn't make things easy enough. What you can do with the Diddy uh, code that isn't initially obvious is if you get game over and then you enter the Diddy code, it will allow you to continue from wherever you left off. So say that, you know, you finally beat Poison Pond. Uh, and you only had one life left, and then you entered Minecart Carnage, or Minecart Madness rather, but you forgot to go back and save, and then you got game over. If you enter the Diddy code on the title screen, uh, get some lives from the Animal Buddy bonus games, and then press start and select, it will bring you right back to where you got game over. And I'm going to show that off uh, right now, but I'm not going to make you sit there while I die 7,000 times. Uh, so basically, we're going to get a game over, and then I will show you exactly how that works for all of the skeptics out there. So we'll be right back after I die a couple more times. Oh no, I forgot to save, and I got game over. This is terrible. So now you press down Y, down, down Y. It will take you to this Animal Buddy room, and what you can do is you can keep playing Animal Buddy bonus games for as long as you want, getting as many extra lives as you want, and then once you think that you're at that point where there's no way I'm ever going to get game over ever again, uh, you will see what happens. But see, isn't the is the timer going down faster than it did in Winky's bonus room? I feel like it does. Or maybe it's just because I always hate how much time it feels like you waste jumping across the top here to get the big token. That, I mean, in the amount of time that it took to do this, you might as well have just collected more small tokens. Because literally, look how long that takes. That's, that's just kind of terrible. But anyway, as you'll see in just a second...
So we have no lives, but now we're up to zero, then one, then two, then three. If we now press start and select, since we just got game over, this, is, this doesn't work like if you turn the game off and then turn it back on or something like that, but since we got game over and then we immediately came to this room, now if we press start and select, it will take us right back to where we got game over. So there you go. So if you ever get game over and you know, you're freaking out because you lost a whole ton of progress and you forgot to save, enter that cheat code and all will be well. That is something I really wish I had known as a kid. Uh, especially, you know, if you're playing uh, Gorilla Glacier and you can't, you just can't seem to beat five levels in a row without saving, that is the cheat code for you. And of course, you can just keep playing uh, you know, Animal Buddy bonus games as much as you want. You didn't just have to get three lives. You could have got 30 lives. You could have got 99 lives. Uh, it's a totally good cheat, but again, if you get game over, you can just keep using that cheat and you don't even need to worry about it. The final thing that I want to show though, it's not necessarily a cheat, it's just kind of a cool thing that I don't think too many people know about in Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it is hidden inside of Minecart Carnage, and in order to do it, you have to get to the checkpoint. So I'm going to get there, uh, since the first half of the level, nothing really exciting happens, and we'll talk about that in a second. Alright, so once you get the checkpoint barrel, what you want to do is you want to sacrifice yourself so that you go back to the stage select screen, and then when you enter the level, immediately after you come out of the checkpoint barrel, press the Y button, and then jump, and you'll see what happens. Now what you can do is you can constantly cartwheel in the air, and you can just jump around the entire level. And it's completely ridiculous. I'm not sure what it is about this level that allows you to do this, but I remember when I found out about this secret, I just thought it was so cool. And I mean, yeah, so, I mean, in my previous bonus video, I showed how the, uh, there was a warp barrel in this video. So it's not like this really helps you, you know, cheat at all, since you could technically just use the warp barrel to beat the level, but it's still a really, really, really funky secret. And it's just so bizarre. It's essentially a moon jump code. Miles Luigi will be very impressed by this one. Uh, I can tell you that, but it, it's just so interesting and that you can do this. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to cartwheel our way to victory, getting the one up. And this works with both uh, Diddy and DK. It is not discriminatory, unlike other things in this game seem to be for some reason. And yeah, it is just a really bizarre secret. Um, you cannot jump on any of these guys I have tried before, but what will happen is when we get near the end, the minecart that we would normally go into after using the warp barrel will be there. So we can just jump right into that, and it will allow us to beat the level. So unfortunately, there's not really anything interesting to find with this. Um, it's just kind of, you know, for fun. That's why I decided to add it in here. It's just a neat little novelty thing that I didn't think too many people would know about. But yeah, you just jump into this minecart, and there you go. Minecart madness complete. Again, that would probably be a lot more impressive if there wasn't a warp barrel right near the beginning. Uh, but say you, like, you, you're, uh... You find the you can you know you be you can beat the first half of the level. But you're having trouble with the second half, so you can kind of like half cheat, maybe. I don't know. I thought it was neat, and I thought that you know since it's I don't think it's super well known uh, that I would show it off, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. And you can now go show all of the things that you've learned in this video off to all of your friends. And I'm sure that they will be super impressed and your knowledge of a game that came out over 20 years ago. But with that said, I think that I have now said and done every single thing that there is to do in the original Donkey Kong Country game. There might be a little, you know, a few other really obscure things out there. Uh, I don't think I missed any, like, cheat codes or anything like that, so I hope that you enjoyed seeing all those. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it for me and the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country games. Is now I have played all three, I've shown all the warp barrels in all three, I've shown all the cheat codes in all three, and I hope that you have enjoyed watching all of that. So thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time for something different. So thanks, and see you later.